I'm going to try a new series of videos. These are going to be called Movie Mini Marathon Madness. It's going to be uh, movies that I find um, amusing, that I find entertaining. I'm going to watch, uh, when I have free time, like a little mini marathon of like maybe, say, a series of films that follow a series or just movies that I think go together by genre. Mainly it's from my collection. I don't hardly have a collection, but it's from my DVD slash Blu-ray collection. And or um, if I see a movie, I might uh, uh, just talk about it. First off, um, uh, it's going to be mini uh, uh, movie mini marathon madness for a very, very... Um, uh, well-received, uh, it's not critically claimed... Uh, big huge box office hit Transformers and Transformers 2 um, I got Transformers on blue or on regular DVD and I got Transformers 2 on Blu-ray this is when I first got Blu-ray um, it's just a normal it's just a cool slipcase and you got Optimus and Megatron on the back just a two disker show the discs here and then I'll talk about it and then you have the blu-ray which is the only blu-ray to go in my opinion two disc special edition special edition meaning this is from Walmart this is uh, the scenes that were speci specifically shot in IMAX uh, were included in this so when you watch this on your HD television you know how it'll have the letterbox for most blu-rays uh, when it goes to IMAX it's full screen and you don't lose any quality it's amazing so, two disker. Now, a little bit about why I decided to watch these movies, or how I got into them. Um, truth be told, I saw Transformers a few days after it came out in the movie theater, uh, not knowing what I was getting myself into. Um, I am. Uh, I was born in '87, so I was born uh, in the I would you say Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle slash Power Rangers, uh, I guess generation. So uh, I just missed uh, the cartoon for Transformers. Undoubtedly, if I was born maybe two or three years earlier, I probably would have been in Transformers more. So I went in pretty much blind to the first film, um, not knowing pretty much about it, just knowing that they're giant robots. Thought they would thought they all killed people. Um, pleasantly surprised to see Shia LaBeouf. Many people don't like him, but uh, I actually think he's a decent actor. Um, back when the Disney Channel uh, was actually relevant and really interesting, he had a show um, called Even Stevens, and uh, I think he's way he's really funny. If he got into like comedy, like uh, if he did a Judd Apatow movie, he would be awesome in that movie. He's very funny. But, um, decent actor in my opinion. He's been in a few roles that have, uh, been noteworthy. Um, but, uh, I went into this blind, um, not knowing what to expect, and I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, I left the theater thinking, wow, can't believe I didn't see this, um, uh, I guess the week earlier. Just amazing visuals, uh, storyline, and, you know, it gets harked on, Michael Bay Productions, uh, but I actually enjoyed the storyline. Um, I actually found myself uh, rooting for both sides a little bit. More uh, Autobots. Optimus Prime is my favorite. Um, I just found it really, really entertaining. Uh, nothing more I can say about it. Megan Fox, who I had no idea who she was before seeing this movie. Uh, not the greatest actress, but she's fun to look at. Very fun to look at. Uh, just an entertaining movie. And... Uh, had to get it on a DVD when it came out. And then the Blu-ray here, I actually saw this in the IMAX theaters uh, at midnight, the day it was released. Stood in line starting at 9, 8, 9 p.m. was actually uh, in the movie theater with a diehard fan who's probably in his 30s who grew up in the comic book and everything. Really cool, really cool. So much so that I enjoyed this uh, that I actually saw it the next day in normal theaters. Um, just to, because when I first went to went to see it, I went for the awe factor, and then the second time I went to actually see what the story was about and everything. Um, 
But many people harp on this for being kind of racist with the twins and uh, not having that comedic value and focusing more on the humans as opposed to the robots. But I felt those twins were a uh, very great comic relief. Uh, once again, the visuals were amazing. This on Blu-ray is incredible. Um, if I could double dip, I would double dip definitely to buy the first on blue and maybe like Batman Begins on blue and Iron Man on blue. But uh, I don't really double dip. I don't have that much money. But uh, just visually awesome, visually appealing, um, definitely worth a watch. Uh, I know this is going to be on deaf ears. I know this is not going to get a lot of views because this is a major, major film. Uh, a lot, uh, mostly everybody's seen it. You either hate it or love it. I absolutely love it. I think it's very entertaining. I, I, I can't explain it. Um, what's weird is um, never really into comic books, never really into superheroes, but all these superhero movies that have been coming out lately, they've been my favorite movies so far. I absolutely love Iron Man, Iron Man 2. Batman Begins and, ba and The Dark Knight, just a, a top two on my probably my top ten list of movies. They're just awesome movies. Um, undoubtedly, I'm, I'm looking forward to the Superman reboot. I'm looking forward to um, the Avengers, looking forward to Thor, really looking forward to um, the pictures I've seen of Captain America, looking, really looking forward to that film. But anyways, uh, you know, this is just a little segment I'm going to do on YouTube, um, you know, DVD, Blu-ray, aficionados, tell me what you think. Um, uh, you can totally do a video response if you want to show me your cool collections of different versions of each film here that I'm doing. but. In about an hour or so, I'm going to do a little mini marathon of both these films, simply because um, it's 9:30 at night. I got nothing to do tomorrow until seven when the Miami Heat play on television. Miami Heat. But anyways, I'm going to watch these, uh, be entertained, and then probably go to bed. So uh, this is my first edition of uh, 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 movie mini marathon madness. Uh, that's a mouthful, but uh, yeah. Transformers, Transformers 2, um, definitely worth a watch in my opinion. The preview, the snippet for Transformers Dark Side of the Moon looks very entertaining and answer, I think it uh, focuses more on um, the Transformers themselves, gives more of a backstory. Um, Mega Fox is in it, which is a shame because she's always fun to look at, always fun to look at, but undoubtedly there will be other good looking women and um, robots. Optimus Prime, awesome. Bumblebee, awesome. Um, I actually like Shia LaBeouf. So, uh, peace. Thanks.